the Lord began to talk to me about not receiving something I was asking for. I'd been asking for it and asking for it a while. And his, his answer to me on you know, what was taking so long obviously isn't him. It's not ever him. But what he was showing me was I'm so focused on the stuff around this situation I'm so focused on what it's doing, how it's acting, how it's responding to me, that I am missing the true life where my answer lies. We need to be far more spiritually minded than we are physically minded. Amen. That's the plan of God for us. It's a provision he has given us. And I'm wanting us to look at what the Bible says about the fact that we have this indwelling presence of God and begin to live from the inside out. We can live from the inside out. We can do that. If, if it wasn't available for us, Jesus would have never made it very clear to us that he came for that reason. He didn't come just to show up and have a good time. He didn't have a good time. Did you notice? Mm. Things did not, he did not have a, a zippity doo dah time on earth. He came and he labored and he worked and, and he was heartbroken and he was betrayed and he was deceived. and you, you know the whole gamut and he died. He didn't come for a good time. He came to make a difference. And we can enter into that place where that difference is life to us. So I want to talk about not only what the work of the cross did for us, but what the work through the cross has done for us. Because the work through the cross changed us on the inside. When we were saved, the part of our being that was changed, delivered, freed from all bondage and sin is our spirit man. Not our physical flesh, not our soulish realm that has all the emotions and all of the stuff that we can come up with, but our inward man. So the more that we're focused on that inward man, the more he can strengthen. And the more that strengthens, the greater we can manifest Jesus in the earth. 